I am recording the unusual flowering of Crotalaria reticulosa. This is generally not found in November, but this year maybe due to excessive rainfall. We have seen its second flowering. Now this is this is quite unusual because this is an indicative of the climate change that uh, phenologically speaking or in terms of uh, flowering of the Crotalaria reticulosa. Uh, what we observe is uh, in September and middle of October the entire phenological process is over. The, the pod formation is over by end of September. A pod maturity takes place in first week of October and then after October. Now this is November 22nd, 2010 and here in the Goa University campus I am recording an example of climate change and how it affects the local wildflower species Crotalaria reticulosa, which is extremely sensitive to the direction of light and the intensity of light. There are, this is not an isolated uh, uh, plant, but there are other plants in the vicinity, other individuals which also are producing flowers. This is a bumblebee pollinated flower and uh, the flowers we have recorded earlier, they open at a specific time as the angle of the sun changes towards the sunset in the sky and the light intensity also falls then only the flowers start opening there are many other individuals in this plot which indicates this is not just an isolated event but it's really happening so this is an example of climate change impacting one of the beautiful local wildflower species Crotalaria retusa which I have recorded here in this clip. This needs to be examined further by ecophysiologists and botanists.